In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create and save uh, diagram templates for use in the constructor. Uh, diagram templates are uh, handy for when you have uh, groups of objects, drawing objects, or uh, diagram objects that you uh, want to use over and over again for future projects. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, right click on a blank area in our diagram and choose insert template. This is going to display a list uh, of pre-designed um, diagram templates that we have. We're going to choose this one called contactor and click on open. Now once that uh, template's uh, inserted we can move that around uh, to different locations that we want. In order to edit this template the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, ungroup the objects here. So we go over to our mixed objects uh, window and there's an option called grouped and we just uncheck that. And now when we go over there uh, and select the individual objects like here's a text box we have uh, access to editing the text in there uh, the font style the alignment we can click on the individual text or uh, individual drawing objects as well we're going to go ahead and uh, separate a, a couple of these objects from this group um, so the first thing we're going to do whenever working with uh, drawing objects it's a good idea to uh, lock the grid layer um, and what what this button will do is uh, prevent you from selecting uh, any objects that are on the actual grid layer such as symbols or wires when you're trying to actually select some drawing objects that are overlapping so we're going to highlight this group here we're going to drag this over and we're going to go ahead and uh, save this group of objects as a new template uh, again the first thing we're going to want to do is um, select this grouped option so that our objects are all grouped now when we select that, uh, when we click on any part of the object, that's going to be the whole group that gets selected now. We go up to this option uh, called Save as Template. And then we can click here to change the name. And then when, we're, when you're done naming it, you can click on the Save button. And now that object is uh, a diagram template that you can insert again. We click on that, and now we have our new diagram template here. Another option that's uh, helpful when working with drawing objects is uh, the Snap to Grid feature. And to access that, uh, what we want to do is go up to Options and choose the Snap Drawing Objects to Grid. And what this will do is uh, when you click a drawing object to begin drawing, a grid will appear, and as you draw, um, that object will snap to the grid dots. Uh, this is really useful when aligning objects and getting things uh, more precise when you're drawing. Another type of diagram template that uh, is handy is one that consists of uh, grid objects such as symbols and wires. Um, for example, a start-stop circuit that you might want to use over and over again. We're going to insert a diagram template this one is called the forward reverse circuit and here we have uh, this diagram template that just consists uh, specifically of uh, symbols and wires um, we have even uh, our assignments are, are maintained here as well with our contacts and coils this type of diagram template is not going to have the ability to be grouped so uh, you're going to want to make sure uh, when you insert that uh, that you move it to the location that you want. Um, in order to say this as a template we just highlight this area uh, and this highlights a little bit different than our drawing objects do uh, and then when you have this highlighted you just right click in the highlighted area and you choose to save as template and then you just call that uh, the name that you desire as well and hit save. And this concludes our diagram template tutorial.